I knew that when coming to Manchester United I wouldn't play every game, but I was really hoping to play this one. We took on Burnley for the first game in today's episode here away at Turf Moor, but I wasn't picked for it. After playing against Brentford on the weekend, this game was rescheduled due to that game finishing as a draw, meaning there'll be a replay in a couple of weeks to come. So this game got rescheduled to before the Capital One Cup final, just before by a few days, and Louis van Gaal decided I was not fit enough to play in this game. So I was gutted about that. If there's one game I've been really looking forward to, since joining Manchester United, it was that one. Going back to Turf Moor, playing against my former club, regardless of whether you know they, they've been playing well this season or not, which of course is the latter, it would still be a really awesome occasion. But sadly, Louis van Gaal didn't pick me. He either decided that my fitness wasn't good enough, or quite frankly, my form wasn't good enough, which I think would be a little bit harsh. But as you saw my energy there, it was 72%. It's probably because I wasn't fit enough to start the game. Still, we do take on Southampton for the first and only game in today's episode. It is the Capital One Cup final here at Wembley. So delighted to reach my first final in my career and I'm really hoping that this will become my first piece of silverware. We beat Burnley but we've been a little bit inconsistent of late, a little bit stop start, not exactly the type of form we had at the start of the season but coming to this game against Ronald Koeman's side I do believe we'll get the win and I think we'll get our first piece of silverware with Manchester United. This game is going to be all about possession, you know, I just know it, like seriously, Southampton is such a great team for keeping hold of the ball, we keep hold of the ball really nicely whenever I'm on the pitch due to my, uh, you know, relatively accurate passing and I know this game is going to be really slow and it's going to be all about who dominates possession really, which is going to be frustrating I guess, but even so, we should get some chances on the board here and there. But I just don't predict there'll be too many. But I'm going to play that ball all the way out wide towards Raphael. What a lovely pass that was. Inside towards Mata. And Mata back out wide to Raphael. I'm in support in the centre if you want Mata. I'm there if you want. I'm right there. Okay, nope. Okay, play it inside instead. Good chance for Blint. And he shoots way, way, uh, way over the bar. Rooney towards Mata, and I'm there in support, but he finds Di Maria instead. Inside towards Luke Shaw, the former Saints left back on the ball. Plays it inside. Rooney shoots off target and behind for a goal kick. Here's Raphael, and the right back on the ball is shut down, but he plays it through towards Van Persie, and that's a good ball inside to me. What a chance here. Going to play it inside towards Daly Blint. Loads of space for Blint, and the shot. I don't really think he caught that properly, but it goes onto the roof of the net, and it's behind for a goal kick, and it's still 0-0 in a first half, which really hasn't had too many clear-cut chances, if any. We've had the shots, but they've all been off target, and it's still 0-0. Here's Van Persie. I'll add a ball through the centre. There we go. Quick little fake shot. And I'll try and play it back towards Dean Maria. He's in space. He's got Luke Shaw. He's in acres of space. Down the left-hand side. The former Saints man runs at Stephen Davies. Plays it inside towards Dean Maria. I'm there on the edge of the area if you want. Or do you want to shoot? Nope. Finds Rooney who does shoot. Forster makes the save and catches the rebound as well. That's our first chance which hits the target. But it's a good stop by Forster. And there is half time. United nil, Southampton nil, and like I was predicting, really, it's been a pretty slow first half, which hasn't really wielded too many clear-cut opportunities. We've hit the target once in that first half. Fraser Forster had to make a comfortable save. Other than that, the shots have been off target. I don't recall Southampton having a single attempt in the entire first half. We'll have a, look at a quick, uh, quick look at the stats to see if they have done. Nope, they haven't. It's been very, very poor. We've had more possession, far more of it. We've had four shots and one on target compared to Southampton 0-0. Zero and zero. And, uh, yeah, things need to pick up in the second half. I'm, I'm playing this game on 10 minutes a half, you know, and this, this sort of just sums up player career, but it doesn't matter how many minutes you put the half length to, you're still not going to get many opportunities because the game doesn't seem to register that goals are more important than possession. But even so, maybe things will pick up in the second half. Nil-nil at the break. Southampton in the second half have really packed out the midfield and we've struggled to really get past them and create opportunities and it is still nil-nil as we've just gone past the hour mark here and I just don't see it changing, like I really don't, there's no urgency from either side, Southampton are still yet to have a shot in the entire game as well but still here's Mata on the ball and Mata is tackled by Font and the referee has given a free kick right on the edge of the area as Mata is taken down by Font and I think the Saints give is going to get a booking for that as well. And uh, actually, is that a penalty? Is that... I, th I think that might be a penalty because that was on the line, wasn't it? I just pressed X. I think that was a... No, it is a penalty. Oh, my goodness. We've won a penalty in the 61st minute. I can't believe that. I was talking casually. I thought it was a free kick. I'll have to look at that on the replay. I thought that was outside the area, but maybe he was on the line. Van Persie takes the penalty, stutters, and sends force to the wrong way. And we take the lead in the Capital One Cup final for a penalty, which I thought was a free kick. 
Font took down Mata. I'm going to have to look at that on the replay. I swear that was outside the area. But Van Persie, as cool as you like, stutters, sends Fraser Forster the wrong way, pokes it into the bottom corner. The Dutchman makes it 1-0. Fantastic to get the opening goal of the game and everything, but I'm just so surprised about it. I thought for sure it was a free kick. Even so, it's United 1, Southampton 0, Van Persie from the spot. And I'm just, I'm in shock. Like, I'm actually shocked that that was given as a penalty. I have to look at that as Osvaldo comes on for uh, m &EK. Where's the uh, where's the replay? I want to take take a look at this real quick. I thought for sure that was outside the area. Maybe I need spec savers. Let's have a quick look here as we're rewinding the replay as quickly as we can. Come on, hurry up now. Hurry up, hurry up. Here, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Right, let's have a look then. I thought for sure that was outside the area. Let's have a quick look though and see if it was inside. Matter got taken down by Fonts and as you can see, that that is tight. That's really tight. But I can see why the referee's given a penalty there. But that is very, very tight right there. Although when you look at the challenge as well, Font does come through Mata's knees in order to win the ball. Is it a foul? I guess there's two incidents there which you can look at and say the referee might have called them wrong or called them both right. Is it a foul first and foremost? I think you can argue there is a foul due to the force. But is it a penalty? Hard to tell. Think though, again, it possibly could be. So I think the referees probably called them both right. But again, both decisions could be quite debatable. But uh, even so, we do take the lead through that penalty. And I'm very surprised. 1-0 United. Now, a good chance on the break here as Rooney gets on the ball. Brilliant chance. He plays me down the left-hand side. I'll try and take on Yoshida. And I'm round him. This is a really good chance. And I've been tackled by Font. And we'll win it back, though, and find Di Maria. And still a chance. That's a great ball out wide towards Mata. Cross it in there. We've got men at the far post. Van Persie heads it over. And it's still 1-0. All right, throw in. Let's try and... Put it into the area with a giant throw in. Give Frost something to think about. Let's uh, throw that ball in towards Wayne Rooney. Should be Klein in the air and does and puts it onto the roof of the net and behind for a goal kick. And with 15 minutes to go, Southampton still haven't had a single shot in the entire game. Davis on the ball, plays it through towards Schneidlin. And now back to Stephen Davis down the left-hand side. Plays it inside towards Morgan Schneidlin. The French midfielder plays it inside towards Osvaldo. Osvaldo finds Ramirez who shoots. Good block. And Valdish also got a touch on it. And we get the ball away. And Southampton's first chance and first shot in the entire game almost resulted in a goal. But uh, now he could be on the break. And I'm round Yoshida. And what a chance this is for 2-0. This is a brilliant opportunity. I'm not going to mess it up, surely. Oh, my goodness, I have. I don't believe it. What a terrible, terrible miss. I did everything right except for the finish. How did I mess that up? It keeps Southampton alive and in this game. And that should have been the game. What a terrible, terrible miss by myself. Jones to Shaw. Surely the game's over now as he launches the ball inside. Headed away. But it's going to come to me. It's fallen to me. Rama going to the ball. That's got to be a penalty ref, surely. Fake Rabona. Klein takes me down. Second penalty of the game. The first one may have been a little bit debatable, but you're not going to debate that one. Klein slid in. I fake Rabona to stop the ball, and he clips me, and the referee awards a penalty and books the former Palace defender. So as you can see there, I just basically landed on top of him, really. But there was a needless slide from Klein, and he's given away a penalty, and surely Surely giving away the game now. So Schneidlin takes him away, but it is a penalty. And James Wilson off the bench has the chance to secure the Capital One Cup for Manchester United. So great chance to make it 2-0 from the spot and to win the game by two, uh, two goals through two penalties. May not be the most exciting ways to do it, but even so, Wilson stutters. And just like Van Persie, sends Fraser Forster the wrong way. Manchester United 2, Southampton 0. And we are going to get another, uh, sorry, our first trophy of the season. Season. Another win notched up for us in the season as well, and this one is the most important one. Uh, most important one, as things stand. Wilson sending force to the wrong way and making sure that our name is on the trophy. So delighted with that. I was hopeful. I was secretly hopeful in the build-up to that I might have been awarded the. Uh, sorry, not awarded, but uh, to take the penalty. I might have been given the penalty to take after I won it, and there's no Van Persie on the pitch. But even so, Wilson sends force to the wrong way. That's the most important thing. United two, Southampton nil, and we get our first piece of silverware this season and also my first piece of silverware in my career.
And there is a final whistle actually right from kickoff. So final score, United 2 Southampton 0. Absolutely delighted to get my first piece of silverware in a career. And to be honest, it was a game which did not live up to expectations. I did say that, you know, I could see this being a really slow game and I could see it being one which is more about the possession. And it was, to be honest. It's, it's frustrating that this game just doesn't seem to understand that goals are more important than possession, you know, because Southampton in the entire game had, I swear, no more than two shots. Like, there's only one I can think they had. They might have had another one, I can't remember it. But other than that, they did essentially nothing, you know, absolutely terrible. We got the win, and we deserve to win as well. You know, to win it by, uh, by, by going through two penalties ain't great, obviously, but the win is the most important thing. And um, we, we did deserve over 90 minutes, so I'm delighted to get it. So Rooney is going to lift the trophy. We are Capital One Cup winners absolutely delighted with that and it's my first piece of silverware in my career so it's it's not the most you know it's not the most coveted trophies the capital one cup it's not the thing we're desperate to win we've got the premier league we're going for we're still in the fa cup of course and the champions league too but even so i'm just delighted to win my first piece of silverware as rooney lifts the trophy and it's just great to know that sooner rather than later we have our hands on a piece of silverware so delighted with that and uh, again the, the, the premier league this year is our main aim i really do want to win the premier league with United right now we're still ahead of Chelsea but even so it's, it's so relieving to know that finally we do have our first piece of silverware so that's going to be the episode guys so thank you very much for watching the video really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed today's episode of my player then please do leave a like so it's much appreciated and of course it really does help my channel out but you don't have to leave a like if you don't want to and uh, just before we go so have a quick look at the stats and my player rating as well I got a 6.7 which in a way felt a little bit harsh I only misplaced two passes out of a possible how is my maths? 56, I think that is. And that's pretty good. And I, you know, I made key passes free, which ain't too bad either. I thought I actually played okay. 6.7, maybe a little bit harsh. Maybe I could have got a 7.0, 7.1, but we'll take it, I guess. And um, as you can see, yeah, Southampton registered. They didn't have a single shot in the entire game. They did actually have one because I was valid to take a shot. But other than that, I mean, this is just... This is why player career mode could never be my main series anymore. EA needs to do more work on this. This is the Capital One Cup final. This is one of the biggest, if not the biggest game of Southampton season. And that's what they did in 90 minutes. Just, I mean, seriously, what is the actual point? This is AR and Legendary as well. What is the point? But uh, even so, that's any episode, guys. So thanks very much for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's episode on my player, then please do leave a like. It's much appreciated. And it really does help my channel out. You don't have to leave a like if you don't want to. And I'll see you for the next episode of my player very soon.